Definitely great information there, but we are starting off this morning with some dense fog in some locations. Of course, the National Weather Service issuing a dense fog advisory for all of our coastal areas until 10 o'clock this morning. As we look at South Padre Island right now, here is a look out that camera from Beach Park at Isa Blanca. Can barely look out that camera with winds out of the south between 11 miles an hour. Conditions are much more clear for our inland areas. McAllen 73, Harlingen 74, Brownsville at 74 degrees. So we're not dealing with any visibility issues, of course, along our inland areas. But of course, if we're heading out the door with those pets there. We are expecting those temps to get up to about 79 degrees, 83 by 11 o'clock this morning. So we're definitely a very warm day today. We're going to be a bit warmer than what we were dealing with yesterday. We were in the low 80s yesterday. Today, we're going to be in the upper 80s. I wouldn't be surprised if some of us actually end up in the 90s. So we're going to start off fairly cloudy here across the valley this morning. And then getting to around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, we're going to see those skies clear out to mostly sunny conditions. So like I said, some temperatures may end up in the 90s for those highs around 3 p.m. And then we're going to be mostly clear through the evening. But of course, uh, warm conditions today, cooler conditions expected tomorrow. We do have a cold front that is now approaching the Texas Panhandle. That's going to bring us some slightly cooler conditions as we head into Wednesday. So we're going to need those jackets if you're heading out the door for Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So brief cool down expected here across the valley. We could see some coastal showers out of this cold front with mostly cloudy conditions and we could see that rain lasting through Thursday with uh, some gloomy conditions for just a couple of days. So we're not going to have this prolonged uh, cooler weather that we saw within the past two weeks. We're just going to be briefly cooler for Wednesday and Thursday and then we're going to be clearing out and warming right back up into the 80s for Friday. So this weekend good conditions for any type of outdoor activities. It may be just a bit warm here across the valley because we're going to see those high temps uh, topping out in the low 80s there and we're going to see some occasional clouds but mostly quiet weather conditions are going to be expected in the long term forecast because we're going to see a high pressure system just build in from the Gulf of Mexico and just keep things at bay and keep things a bit on the calmer side. Freeze your temperatures showing that uh, cold front arriving in the early morning hours tomorrow but then we're going to see those temps drop into the 60s by tomorrow afternoon and ultimately we're going to see those temperatures uh, once again drop into the 50s and 60s, so we might see some uh, chilly conditions for the most part. But today, Lower Valley topping out at 88, Upper Valley 87. Winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour. But as we look at those, uh, the evening planner, we are expecting this evening to be partly cloudy. Temperatures dropping out to the about 75 degrees by 8 p.m. But as far as the next seven days, expect those temps to continue being just rather warmer for today. That cold front bringing those highs down into the 70s. We're going to see those overnight lows briefly be chilly for at least uh, until Thursday morning and then warming right back up into the mid 80s for this next weekend. And we're going to see some occasional cloud cover, but of course, warm weather for the long term period as we head into the start of next week.